Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Python and Flask and how you can work with the middleware general so you can do something before the request happening. It could be a user login, it could be a database connections so you can be sure it's reconnect if it's a drop the connection and it could be anything you want. In this video I will give you the very simple way to create a login with the hard-coded uh, username and password. So let's begin. You need to create the, the app uh, file and for this we want to say from flask import flask and we need the request that's what we want right now and then we need the application and we need a route it's the whole directory here and methods we only want to work with get in this case uh, we're creating the hello world uh, function here and we say the user is equal to test and then we need to return uh, this one um, um, yes and then we need to test it up Import 5000 and we will enable the debug mode. So let's spin this up and let it go in for the postman. Postman is the application I use to, to testing the requests. So let's do that. I hope you can see what's happening here. And what we want to do now is just to say HTTP localhost. And all five thousand. You see, we say "Hey, test here." And the next we want uh, for now is uh, creating a new file. We need to create the middleware and just call it middleware. You can call it whatever you want. In this case, it's uh, yeah, it's just called middleware. Inside the middleware, we want to say from this one wrapper it's the way you can do this in in flask so we want to import request we want to response and response stream no and class middle where here and for this we have this one we set app and then we say self app is equal to app and we have a username and a password now and the username should be test user and should be test pass here for the password and then we need the call And then we need start response. Inside here we are ready to define a request here. It's equal to request environment here. And for the next one we want the username and take the request and authenticator and we say the username. Then we need the password, authenticator, and the password of it. 
And then we need to ask about if the username is equal to self username and password is equal to self password. Then it's allowed to go inside here and say user. And we need to say test. Test user. And if it's not logged in, we need a little bit more here to say risk. And of course, we need to return this. We go down to say response. Because if we don't have the right username and the password, we will uh, say it's a, it's a error. Mime type should be text plain. And then we have the status is equal to 401. Then we return risk. And then we go in here. I think that's it. So let's go back for the app one more time here. And what we want to do inside here, it's basically just to say from middleware, import middleware, so we can use this. Whoops. And then we can say app here and VSGI app. And this is equal to middleware. Middleware here. And then we say, yes, this way. And now it should basically work now. But if we are starting it now, we don't know which the username is if we are logged in. So let's go in here to say request and this one. And we go down here to say user. And yeah, that should be that. Let's uh, close it down and restart the application. Open Postman up again. And now it should crash if we do this. It's correct because we don't have a username. So let's go in for the basic uh, authentication here to say uh, user test user pass you can see the password here and it's basically say we are failed now that's uh, because we have a mistake so let's go in inside the middleware one more time and see what's happening here and the username password and it's it should be here i'll just discover what going wrong ah, okay yeah what's going wrong here it's you can see we have the test user and test pass and i just spelling it wrong test user and test pass my bad sorry and then we test again and it's working now i can basically see it's uh, it's working and we are printing out we can go in down here and say it to the application and say the name here. Save it and going back and here we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy. Remember you can download the source code from my GitHub profile. I hope you want to subscribe this channel so you can get more videos from me when I'm creating it. And of course. Like always, I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions, please make the, the comments fields below in the comments fields and everything you need, you can see the description and then you have the links and I hope you will put it to your playlist and like it so you can share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope to see you next time. Bye.